In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus CaOH2. This is sulfuric acid and this is calcium hydroxide. When I look at this reaction, the first thing I notice is I have water over here. So I have water and then I have CaSO4. This is an ionic compound. It's also called a salt. So if I have water and a salt, I'm thinking neutralization reaction. I go over to the reactant side, sulfuric acid. That is an acid, and I can tell because I've memorized it, but also it starts with H. That's a good clue that we have an acid here. CaOH2, calcium hydroxide, that's a base. And I know that because I have a metal bonded to this OH group. This is a hydroxide. So a metal and a hydroxide, that's going to be a base. Acid plus base gives salt and water. Neutralization reaction. It's probably a good idea to memorize some of these common acids and bases can really help you out in chemistry. I look down here is H2SO4, sulfuric acid. That's an acid and it's a strong acid. CaOH2, there it is. Calcium hydroxide, a base, it's considered a strong base. So that's a really helpful table. We could also look at some of the general types of chemical reactions we might see. Come down here. Here's our neutralization reaction, HX, so it starts with H. MOH, that's a metal and a hydroxide. We get an ionic compound in water. Neutralization reaction. It's also a double replacement reaction. That's where we have the hydrogen and the calcium switching places. So now I have HOH, that's H2O, and then I have calcium coming in here and joining with the sulfate. I get calcium sulfate. So we have the calcium and the hydrogen switching places, double replacement reaction. So the reaction of H2SO4 plus CaOH2, it's both double replacement and neutralization. This is Dr. V with a type of reaction for sulfuric acid and calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.